For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I wanted to show you how to use a special type of print debug in your code. So what you'll see here, I have a Pi badge, and right now when I press the buttons, you'll see it's printing out both onto the screen and onto my code window REPL there, the name of the button that's pressed. And you'll also see I am blanking out some of those LEDs when I press a button. I also have some dimming happening based on the little light sensor that's on the front of the Pi badge. So this is typical print statements, which let's say I want these. This is what I want this to do. But sometimes when I'm debugging, I want more info. So you can see right now at the top of the code, it says debug equals false. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change that to true and resave the code. It'll restart here pretty quickly. And now you'll see I'm doing more. I'm printing out light values and I'm also printing out when I release a button besides just when I press it. So I'm getting more info here. And you can imagine there can be lots and lots of info you're doing in your project you wanna see for debugging purposes that you normally don't wanna see. So what this debug print process involves is a special function that's been created here. It's actually pretty simple. Function is defined as print D, and then it has an input of a line. It's gonna be a string that's gonna print. And then this is the key thing here. This function will only do something if debug is true. So when that was set to false, it just kind of does nothing. But when it is set to, tr when it is set to true, uh, it will print the line. So you can see here, I've got my pressed button line in the sort of normal way, print, and then in parentheses, whatever I want to print. For the button release, as well as the light sensor value, those aren't a regular print statement, those are actually calling that function. So these say print D, and then we're using F string formatting so that we can put inside of quotes any variable names we need as well as plain text, and those are inside of one single line. So now with that debug true, we get lots and lots of info, but in the end, if we want to calm that down, we're done developing, then we're gonna set uh, debug to false and resave and now we don't get flooded with information, we just have the key stuff that we need for the project. And that is how you can use print debugging in your code inside of CircuitPython. And that's your CircuitPython Parsec.